We're talking about Armstrong Garden Centers. Luke Sims is joining us with all things butterfly related and how we can get the right kind of host plants and right. get the butterflies going. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jason. So you brought a whole kind of different kinds of host plants. We're monarchs in my my neighborhood, so we have a lot of milkweed. Right, right. The milkweed is obviously a great host plant, yep. um, and this is predominantly for the monarchs. The flowers will attract other kind of butterflies too, um, but there are other host plants for other butterflies, like lots of herbs, like fennel, dill, stuff like that. Oh, I see. And we do uh, we do have many different varieties of milkweed at Armstrong's as well. All the native stuff is good just too. So what are we seeing over here? You've got a so Very I've got a lot of collection. really attractive plants for butterflies here. Um, they love uh, sunflowers, zinnias, yarrow, um, anything with a big landing pad that they can just, they can catch it with their eye, mm -hmm. land on it really easily, and just go to town sucking on nectar. And they'll lay the eggs on these, right? They will lay the eggs on the, on the milkweed. Right. Um, the monarchs lay the eggs on the milkweed. Um, the rest of this stuff is really just to attract. I see. Yeah. So do you want to have a lot of milkweed regardless of the type of butterfly? You do want to have a lot of milkweed because as a lot of people know, the caterpillars grow really fast and they have pretty crazy appetites yes. and they'll mow your plants down quick. Mm -hmm. um, so big plantings are good. It's also good because butterflies are attracted to big blobs of color. It really catches their eye. Um, and uh, come in, pollinate your garden, um, and they're really important for the ecosystem. And these can be potted as well, right? You can they do can, these on a patio. If they you don't totally have land can be on a patio. Um, I would say, with with California's growing urban landscape, if we could put a pot on every on every doorstep, that would help the butterflies a lot. And you mentioned the colors. I mean, once they see the colors, that's going to attract. Right, them, right, right. And colors, predominantly red, yellow, orange, um, and purples, are the best attracting colors for butterflies. What are the kind of butterflies can we? facilitate here is so there there are i mean there are painted ladies there's monarchs queens western swallowtails there's actually over 150 species of butterfly here in southern california wow alone. yeah yeah wow okay so what do you recommend as far as like this is like a window box right? so this is a window box here and i got some gloves here for you if you want to stick some plants in here oh man i'm good at this <laughs> i do this right. a lot so the the important thing is you need lots of color to attract that's why i've got these marigolds here mm -hmm. um and the bacopa, the white stuff, isn't super attractive, but it is great for, it's got, they're full of nectar. And once they see these marigolds, they'll, they'll go straight for the bacopa as well. So you're gonna drop um, a milkweed in here. Now, we are gonna put a milkweed in here. This is the important host plant. Mm -hmm. Keep the caterpillars nice and happy. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna stick this sucker in there. We'll work a little soil around it. Why don't you stick your hand in there yeah, and get it dirty. Okay. And then I've got some uh, marigolds there on your right as well. Okay. And you can just pull one of those out of the pack there. And so this class this weekend, we are going to be talking a lot about what exactly you need, um, why they're important, all the different bugs you can bring in, okay. uh, or plants you can bring in to attract the bugs, if you will. Right. Okay. Um, so, so where, yeah. do we get, where do we get information about the class? So uh, the, the, the class is June 1st, 9 a.m. That's for the adults. 2 p.m. is for the kids. They're going to be making little craft butterflies, learning all about the life cycle. And you can come in or pre-register at armstronggarden.com. That's armstronggarden.com with a double G there in the middle. And it's perfectly free. Perfectly free. No problem at all. Nope. If, no we problem. all get our hands dirty. That's right. That's all right. right. <laughs> Bring home some plants and get some butterflies going. Awesome. Luke Sims, thanks. Thank you, Jason. Great having you here. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back with more Good Morning San Diego.